We now continue with the warm-up portion of our series on proper tackling techniques. Uh, what is this second portion of warm-up all about, Dino? Once the body's warmed up with some of those movements, uh, getting all the joints, tendons, ligaments, they're all warmed up, then we really want to get in position to stretch them a little bit. And it's a dynamic stretch, it's movement stretch, it's all uh, specific to the sport movements that we're going to be doing and we're able to watch the players prepare for those highly explosive uh, uh, highly explosive fundamentals that they'll be able to ex execute. Well, let's start with the older guys and then we'll follow it up with the younger guys. Okay, perfect. Okay, guys, right across here again. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to come out knee to chest, okay? Knee to chest as you're walking forward, okay? Alternating your, uh, alternating each leg, okay? Ready and go. Knee to chest, make sure we do not lean back in this. We want to lean into the knee and make sure that we get a good glute stretch, okay? Through the hamstrings. The other thing we're going to emphasize is a dorsiflexion. So knee up, toe up, okay? So that we don't have a lazy foot laying behind. Excellent, good. To continue with that, we're gonna come out now and opposite arm is gonna pull it across. Opposite arm is gonna pull it across the body. Ready and go. Good, again, we want that dorsiflexion, which is knee up, toe up, okay? And we wanna make sure that those hips are getting nice and stretched across the body in a movement manner. Good. Next we're gonna do is we're gonna walk forward and I've got hurdles here for you guys. You see those hurdles? And all you're gonna do is walk over those hurdles with high knees and rolling the hips over top of those hurdles, each one that you do. Ready and go. And you can do this, at, we're gonna just walk through it today, but you can do this at a little bit heavier pace once your players are more comfortable with it. But they're nice and they're rotating the hips. Good, when they get to the line, they're gonna come back facing the same way, and they're gonna go backwards over those same hurdles. Ready and go. Again, we're walking through it today, but you can increase the pace <clears throat> as your players get more and more comfortable with these movements. Good job, we always wanna emphasize the eyes up, the chest up, all those proper techniques, the dorsiflexion, and a good rotation through the hip. Excellent. The next one we're going to do is we're just going to get the hamstrings and I want you walking forward, touching the instep each time and I want to rotate the torso. So we're going to go opposite, opposite as you're walking to the line. Ready and go. Good. So we're warming up the uh, hamstrings with the touch but we're also getting a little bit of a torso swing. So it's helping to make sure that we warm up that midsection of the body which is so crucial to our core and executing those fundamentals. Good, pointing the toe up and getting a good stretch down. Good, after we do that, you'll notice that we just increase the tempo a little bit with each of these exercises. As you come, you're gonna do the leg swings, opposite, opposite, so your right leg will swing to your left hand as you come forward, ready and go. Good, excellent and they want to get a good swing through the hip. Get at least back up to your eye level. Good. And especially at the young ages, we want to emphasize that again. And this time I don't want you to take any steps before you before you before taking another swing. Okay? Ready and go. There you go. Uh, there we go, we got lots of reps there. Every step is a kick. Every step is a kick. Good, and we're gonna ask the young guys to take over just for a couple of these last ones. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do a high knee into a lunge. So you're gonna go high knee and lunge it, okay? Now we want 90 degrees in both legs as we do the lunge. That's ideally what we're looking for. Okay, and we want our chest up. And what I want to emphasize initially is proper running technique. So our opposite arm and opposite leg. Ready? And go. Good. Excellent. Again, dorsiflexion should be heel to toe contact as we're walking forward.
Good. And coming back, turning around, we're gonna grab our quad and we're gonna kick our leg through, okay? Like, and we're gonna stop it right before we kick a soccer ball or kick a ball, okay? So here we go, quad stretch, ready and go. Good, and walking forward as we do that. Good, we wanna make sure that our chest is up. We wanna make sure that there's good balance on the one leg and a good pull back. When they get halfway through, all I want you to do is kick your butt, okay, all the way through, ready, and go with a faster tempo. And I'm gonna ask all you guys to come forward and we're gonna do the one, probably the most important one. We're just gonna stretch the neck and shoulders as you walk forward and just listen to my command as you walk forward and I want you rolling your arms forward, okay, ready, and go. Nice and easy, nice and slow, looking up at the sky. All the way up at the sky, looking down at the ground. We're loosening up the necks now, looking over your right shoulder. Look over your left shoulder. Ear down to the right. Ear down to the left. Good, and walking back and rolling the arms back, facing me. Facing me and rolling the arms back. Good, and same thing, eyes to the sky. Down to the ground. Over your right shoulder, over your left shoulder, ear down to the right, ear down to the left. Good, now we have totally warmed up that full area around the neck and shoulders, which is so crucial to the contact in football because those are the, ex those are the areas that will make initial uh, contact and will prevent any type of injury in that upper body. Do you know you really can't have one without the other though. We have two sections on this warm up. Maybe you can review what we did in the previous section and this section if you haven't caught it on video. Perfect. Hold on, hold on. Okay. Okay. Can you uh, review it? Yeah. Okay. So first in the warm-up, we want to make sure that we get the players doing multi-movements. So that was the running, the back pedal, the shuffling, so that all the joints, muscles, tendons are warmed up. And then we go into the dynamic stretch where we hit every part of the body with an emphasis on the hips and finishing up with the shoulders and neck, which is so crucial to the contact in football. And you can catch this entire series on proper tackling technique and all those things that support it at playfootball.bc.ca.